Today, we're going to talk about the F word, feedback, the use of past performance to inform future performance. Think about how you feel when you receive feedback. Do you feel stressed or do you feel motivated? As an emergency physician on the front lines, I can tell you I feel stressed when I receive performance feedback. I regularly receive reports comparing me to my peers on key performance indicators. It seems like these reports simultaneously tell me to see more patients, be more accurate, and use the least amount of resources possible. Of course I want to see everyone who's waiting to see me, but I also want to take the best possible care of you and your family members when you come in with a life-threatening injury. I find myself wishing the feedback I received were more precise. I wish it captured all the tensions and emotions I feel in balancing efficiency, effectiveness, and quality. Feedback is one of the most powerful ways to influence behavior, and yet 30% of the time it actually leads to negative, unintended consequences. Are those odds you want to risk your life against? My work focuses on untangling the feedback process. Much like precision medicine aims to develop tailored approaches to individual patients, I want to develop precision feedback, feedback strategies tailored to individual healthcare providers. I'm tackling this in a couple of ways. I've already reviewed thousands of articles to develop a pattern model of feedback. Patterns of feedback include at least three things, data, relationships, and context. I'm now using that model to look at hundreds of instances of feedback to try and develop precision patterns of feedback. It's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack, except feedback's complicated, so it's like looking for many needles in many haystacks. Once I develop precision patterns of feedback, I'm going to test them in Calgary emergency departments. My ultimate goal is to develop precise, positive, growth-oriented strategies for feedback in the healthcare setting. You may have heard, the Canadian healthcare system is in crisis. People are burnt out and resources are scarce. Adding the wrong kind of feedback to that context may just be the spark that sets the whole thing on fire. I'm focusing on precision feedback to help healthcare providers do what they do best, take care of you and your family.